Welcome back to another episode of Tasting Britain's Low Star Takeaways. You know it makes sense. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> So welcome back Bandingos to the Blot Outdoor Show. Today I'm in the city of Sunderland. I'm right in the city centre and I'm going to do a food review from a takeaway called the Dip Shop. It's been given a very low one on the food hygiene rating but I've been speaking to a couple of people who use that place regularly for food and they've said it's pretty good so I'm just the guy to check that out and let you legends know what it's all about. <laughs> you know it makes sense. Yes, so Mrs. Blot is going to join me today and join in on this food review. She's at work at the minute, which is due to finish in about half an hour to 45 minutes. So I'm now, I'm going to go and pick her up and then we will come back down. We will come back down to the dip shop and we will give you an honest review on a low star takeaway. Ho ho, you better believe we will. Right. Ready for some fine dining, Mrs. Blot? You better believe it, Mr. Blot. <laughs> okay, folks, so Mrs. Blot has just finished work. We're now going to make our way down to the dip shop and order some food. There's been a few people asking us, a little bit concerned about me dragging Mrs. Blot in, whether she's going to be too shy, you know, to join in on these food reviews. Don't worry, guys, Mrs. Blot is no stranger to jumping in the back of a van. You know what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> anyway, I will see you, Mandingos, when we're back down in the city centre. Ricicles. First of all, I hope Mrs. Ambessie's alright with this. Mrs. Ambessie, she might kick off, she might get jealous. 
but that's just the way it goes, manding goes. <laughs> okay then my fansexuals, me and Mrs. Blot is back in the city centre. We're just making our way up this back lane. As soon as we get to the top of the back lane, we take a sharp right turn and that's where the dip shop is. I'm fancying a beef dip. Mrs. Blot, she's a sausage lover, so she's gonna get a saveloy dip. Oh, matron. And we might order one more thing as well. Just some random thing off the menu. Then we're gonna go and jump back in the old Van Dingo, park up somewhere. And yeah, do some right, Mrs. Blood, and do some munching glad back. Okay then, guys. As we're walking up there, I'm gonna turn the camera downwards so they don't know I'm recording. Same as usual, Manding goes. Mrs. Blood's gonna do the order. She's got the cash. She's the boss. Here we go. Why you some lyrical genius? Sell us your tash. I get me a burger with onions as well. I'll just have a cheeseburger then, please. Yeah, please. Unbuttered, mate. Any little bit. Aye, a little bit ketchup, please, man. I'll have it rock, please. You know it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't want them getting any food. No, no, no. You need a carrier bag? Yeah, please. That'll ding-dong do for me, Mrs. Blood. Nice beef dip. <laughs> Gravy. That's lovely. That's uh, 7.30. Cheap as chips, Mara. Yeah, yeah, Can't beat them prices. There you go, thank you. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Cheers, Bye, mate. Thank you. Bye. Take care. That's it guys, we've got the food, decent price, can of go wrong. Three things for what? Seven pound? Seven pound £7 something for a cheeseburger, a saveloy dip and a beef dip. Okay then guys, we're now going to park up somewhere in the old rusty John Claude Van Sexual. I will see you guys in a minute. Are you some Claudia Schaefer? Okay then folks, so we've just pulled up outside where Mrs. Blot works. She's just popped in for a quick slash Gordon. You know what I'm talking about. So we'll quickly get this out and have a look while we're waiting for Mrs. Blot to come back out. This one is the beef dip. Oh, oh yes, that looks really nice. We've also we've got cheeseburger that doesn't look too promising but I'll still munch it and last but not least 
Mrs. Blots. Savaloy dip. Oh, oh yeah. Okay then guys, gonna jump in now and get stuck in. Right. Oh, oh yes man dingoes. Mrs. Blot, are you ready to try some of Sullen's finest one star cuisine? I'm ready. Looks Let's nice. get stuck in. Okay then guys, first I'm gonna try this dodgy looking burger. It's not the greatest thing I've ever set my eyes on. It just looks like your typical burger from a burger van. You know when you get the match, you get to watch Sunderland play and you get a burger from the vans. But then rip you off at the burger vans, they want four, five pound, don't they? Things like that. That was two pound fifty, so bad. can I complain? Oh my god, how many sausages is on there? That's too many sausages for me, that. Huh. <laughs> That's the first time you've ever said that. Would you like a sausage? Hmm. Anything that will leave, because Mrs. Blood's not a big eater. I'm at work in an hour, so if there's anything gets left, I'll be taking that to work for my beard. It actually looks nice. It does look nice. Generous portion with the Savaloy dip. If you don't know what a Savaloy dip is, guys, it's Savaloy sausages, chopped up, um, paste pudding, stuffing, gravy. You didn't get gravy on though, did you? No, too messy for me. I've got a cheeseburger here. I've also got a beef dip. So that's sliced beef, gravy, paste pudding, and stuffing. I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that. Well, with the burger, although it doesn't taste, sorry, although it doesn't look great, actually taste really nice. That's a nice sandwich, that's a nice sausage. Nice is it? Mm -hmm. Probably one of the best I've had. That's good stuff. You know he's only got a one star rating on the food hygiene. But he was an old guy, he was definitely in his 60s. He'll be old school, he'll not be up with all these new rules where they've got to keep the paperwork right and all the other stuff the local councils are demanding from the shops. He probably is going to be arsed with all that, and that's why he's getting the one star. But the food looks nice, tastes nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Definitely good value for money. Whenever we go to different places for Asani, Mrs. Blot often gets Savaloy dip. So, how, how does that compare to the Savaloy dips from other places? I think it's up there. It's up there with them. Up there with the best. Mm -hmm. it's a nice sausage. Face pudding's nice and the stuffing's nice. Well, that's All what I like to hear. Them. That's what I like to hear. Is yep. that nice? Like I said, guys, it didn't look the best on the eye. Really, really tasty. Just like your typical burger from a burger van when you go to the match. You know, you go to watch your local football team. And that looks nice as well. Oh. Mm-hmm. And the price as well, guys. You know, seven pound. I can't remember what he said. Seven pound eighty, I think. Seven pound, Lord. Mm -hmm. Pass me a pop, please, Mrs. Bloss. Have a bit of sausage. I'll try this. Mhm. Mm That's actually really nice. Nice Savaloy dip. Definitely about the price you get for. Mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting anything great. I knew it was just a little a little dip shop on the edge of a back lane. You know, when you're walking past it and you're looking at it, it doesn't look great. But I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh, no. Pardon me. Up and now. This food is really nice. Most places like that, little, the little hidden, hidden gems, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're normally nice. That's it. You go to the more expensive places mm -hmm. and they're just ripping you off. They're charging your arm and a leg and the food's not that good. You go to these little back street places like this, you're getting a good price and you're getting top quality food. Well, you know how fussy I am and that is going to be one of the best tips I've had. Yeah, Mrs. Blot's really fussy. She's normally not interested in these low star takeaways. Not that way. She's not fussy to the point where she wants to go to the posh restaurants or anything like that. Um, 
you know, we haven't got two pennies to scratch our ass with, but she avoids the low star food. Obviously, she doesn't want to get the shits or anything like that. But there's no wrong with this, is there? I'm talking about the trots. If I end up with the trots, I'd be knocking you. <laughs> yes, if she gets the shits, I'm going to get the blame, guys. No, just nice. Nice? Mm -hmm. That's what I like to hear. Well, for the main bit, the bit I've been looking forward to. Beef's nice and soft. Come on then, let's get stuck in. In fact, I managed to pick it up. Oh, oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Get them old beef curtains in my mouth. Oh, Mason. <laughs> Go on, son, get stuck in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is absolutely nice. beautiful. I'm not beef, but I'm going try it. Get some British beef rammed in your mouth, Mrs. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, no more sexual innuendos. Mmm, that is nice, that. Oh, God. And I'm not looking for a beef, but that's nice. The beef's nice and soft. Plenty of it as well. It hasn't been greedy. Nice and thick. Loads of slices. The piece pudding and the stuffing. Really, really nice. Really tasty. Being dipped in gravy as well, just to make it nice and moist. No, <laughs> no more jokes. <laughs> Can't complain about that at all, guys. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Must be nice because you're supposed to save some of that for your beard. I know. You I know. You know that. You have a bit of sausage in your life. So you've left half yours. Mm -hmm. I'll have that for my beard. I'll keep a little bit of this as well for work. Mm. Well, I've got to see you. I'm really surprised and I'm absolutely over the moon that a little dip shop, the old guy working there, you know, I didn't want to give no bad scores, but I've got to be honest, if it's shit, I've got to tell you the truth and tell you it's shit, or it's not, it's absolutely beautiful. So guys, I'm going to save that for work, and that. Now, down to the scores, Mrs. Blood. Considering the quality of the food, and also value for money, £7.80 I think it was for all this. You know, can't, can't complain at all. I'm going to give this, all together, a big fat 8.5 out of 10 dingo. Mandingos. Oh, oh yes. Um, you better believe they am. Mrs. Blood, what's your score? I think I've given it a nine. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, because it's up there with with like one of the best I've had. Well. Like really nice. Like surprising for a little place like that. That'll like ding dang do. What's nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'll ding dang do for us two. Dingoes. We're happy with the food. Mrs. Blood's happy. I'm happy. Hope you guys are happy with this food review. If you want to see Mrs. Blood come out on some more food reviews, let me know in the comment section. She'll be happy to munch on some more sausage. You better believe she will. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thank it, guys. Yourself. Right, I've now got to go home, get quickly changed and washed, and get to work. As soon as I get back home tonight, guys, after 11 o'clock, I'm going to jump back in the back of the old Van Dingo. And you know what's coming. A world-famous Waski with you. Oh, yes. Say you have to work, guys. You know it makes sense. Right. Too right, Mrs. Blood. Okay then, my fansexuals. I've just got home. I've popped in the house to say hello to Mrs. Blot. And now I'm in the back of the old rusty Van Dingo. Before we do the world famous Waski review, I might as well answer a little question. And it's a question about the food reviews that I do. Um, a lot of people have been asking, why am I, or will I only ever do 
reviews on like the low star food why am i only doing reviews on the low star takeaways mandingo well the reason i started doing the low star foodie stuff was because i'm i'm trying to be a little bit different i didn't want to copy off the other food review channels the other ones i've watched you know they're going around and they're trying like food that's highly rated you know they're getting told that there's a pizza shop in wherever leeds or something and the the kebabs the best kebab in yorkshire or you know there's a fish and chip shop at south shields and it's the best fish and chips in the northeast so i'm trying to go totally the other way you know because i'm a weirdo so i'm trying to do it a bit different where i'm trying the stuff that nobody wants to try nobody wants to try the stuff from a one star or a zero star yeah so that's why I've been doing the low, the low food hygiene food reviews. But if you guys want to see me and little Schmick and Mrs. Blot and, you know, if you want to see us go out and try some of the, the top stuff, the highly rated takeaways, I'm willing to do that. You know, I've got no complaints in that. If that's what you guys want to see, let me know in the comment section if that's something you would like to see, Mandingos. I've got no problem at all in eating some good stuff. I still, I will still do the low stuff, the low star rating stuff, because I'm enjoying doing it. I'm enjoying finding these places, and I'm kind of like trying to help them out. You know, people might be saying, "Oh, I don't want to go and eat in the like today in the dip shop because it's only got one star." And I've went and tried it, and I've let you guys know that the food is really nice and it's for a really good price. Anyway. That's enough of me talking shit. You guys are here for the world famous Waski review. And that's what we're going to do, Mandingos. What have I got this time? This is what I've got, Mandingos. The Sexton Single Malt Irish Waski. Ho ho, yes. You better believe it is. Oh. Mm. Let's get this popped in. The world famous Cub Dingo, Mandingo. <laughs> Oh yes, oh, quite a bit in that one. All righty. I think you see it there, I don't want to spill it. No, you can't see it, it's a bad light. Anyway, let's get the old schneckeroonie in it. Oh, nice, mild and fresh smell straight away about that, guys. Can I swirl around without spilling it? A little bit honey. Yeah, definitely a little bit honey in there. And I'm also getting like some some herbs. And maybe Yeah. Like herbs and like a nice fresh minty smell. Smells really nice, man dingoes. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tears and ricicles. Mmm, oh, that's lovely. Nice and mellow. That went down really smooth. Mm -hmm. Definitely lovely and mellow, that, guys. Oh, oh yes. A little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. A nice little bit of sweetness to that. Oh, that is really nice. <clears throat> I'm getting like a little bit of a nutty taste to it. Yeah, lovely jubbly. If you're no lover of nuts in your mouth, oh, matron. If you're no lover of nuts, this might not be the one for you. But that doesn't bother me. I like the taste of that. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. Now after like the, the fifth taste there, I'm getting the lovely taste of gingerbread coming through. Now I love a bit gingerbread, so this is really nice for me, man, dingoes. Yeah, lovely, fresh, mellow, a little bit sweet. 
the tiniest little bit of nuts. It's not enough to make you taste it and go, ah, oh, that tastes like nuts. I don't like that. Just the tiniest little taste of nuts. Mmm. Yeah. And a definite, lovely, jubbly aftertaste of gingerbread coming through. That is really nice, guys. Where we're at. The Sexton single malt irish waski and it's in a lovely cool bottle look at that 25 pound a bottle that is when i checked it out on google sorry on amazon i shouldn't really check the price out because this was a present and i want to say a massive thank you to my stepdaughter brogan and her boyfriend carl cheers brogan and carl they got me this for father's day a few weeks ago when was it father's day it was a few weeks ago now wasn't it i've just been having a nice little tipple every now and again just a little taste just enjoying it but i kept a little bit for this review yeah so a cheese broken and carl and my granddaughter leila thank you leila i love your flower yes guys so i'm going to wrap this up the sexton single malt irish waski I'm going to give that a very decent, it's not the best single malt I've ever had, but it's very good, and for a very good price, I forgot to say the price, didn't I? It was £25, or did I say? My mind's going blank, guys, after a long shift at work. A long, hard shift in the factory. There you go, guys. Yeah, decent value, £25 for a good quality single malt Irish waski. I'm going to give this a very, very decent, a very, very good 7.7 .7 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, oh, yes. You better believe I am. Mmm. There you go. I've got a tiny bit left. I'm going to take that in the house and drink that when I'm sitting chill on the couch. Well, guys, that's the end of this Waski review. You know what I'm talking about. The new man dingoes. Better join me on Sunday night for my next stealth camping adventure. I don't know where I'm going yet, but I'll be stealth camping on Saturday, which means there'll definitely be a video on Sunday night. Okay then, guys, I will see you later. Please join me on Sunday night. You know it makes sense. Right. Oh, Air Mason. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys. Today I'm in the city of Sunderland. I'm right in the city centre and I'm going to do a food review from a takeaway called The Dip Shop. It's been given a one star, very low rating on the food hygiene. Oh, fucking start there again. <laughs> fucking shit. So welcome back guys to the Blot Outdoor Show. I'm back in the city of Sunderland. I'm right in the city centre. And today we're going to do a food review from a takeaway called The Dip Shop. It's been given a very low score. Uh, one. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's fucking shit. Last time. Oh, yes, man, dingoes. Are you ready, Mrs. Blot, to try some of Sullen's finest one-star cuisine? Ready. How are they? Right. First of all, that's yours. Start again. <laughs> Why? Okay then, my fansexuals. I'm back home and I'm back in the old Van Dingo. Well, might as well answer a little question before we do the world-famous Waski with you. And same as though we've been doing a food review today, I'll answer a food... Ah, oh, fuck off. Start again. Well, folks, that's it. Back in the old Van Dingo. I've just finished work. I've just popped in the house. Oh, that's fucking shit. Right, last fucking time. 
Seems as though we've been doing a food review today. I might as well answer a question that's got to do with the food reviews. Loads of people have been asking us, you know, they've been saying, Blot, are you only going to do low star food takeaways? Or why are you only doing low star foodie takeaway reviews, you know? Um, well, the reason I did, the reason I started doing the, the low star ones is because I wanted to be a little bit different. I've watched a, f a few food, uh, for fuck's sake, fucking get your fucking words out. 